Greetings! Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's, it's too, too many, many spirits! spirits. This is the show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky ghost stories. We're filming four episodes, all four episodes being filmed tonight. And this is just the first one. Well, this is the second one, actually. The second one, it's the second prayer. episode. It's the second episode. So if you think we're normal now, which you obviously do, just wait till the fourth one when we're... As always, we'll be enjoying a tasty cocktail prepared by our beverage maestro, <laughs> Stephen Lim. And joining us again this season is actual cocktail maestro and host of Worth a Shot on Watcher, Ricky Wang. Take it away, baby boy. Okie dokie. What's going on here? We're You're making back. a drink. We're making drinks with my pal Ricky. As you guys, the internet love to ship us. You know, we're such good friends. No one does that. No, we're the best, of, doing that. the best of friends, the worst of friends. The worst? We're just the ultimate friends. I think Ricky would probably just consider them friends, and then Steven is probably the enemy's part. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Nah, man, it's my boy. Our dub, that's what I call him. What are you touching me? Sorry. All right, Ricky, what are we making here for our second drink today? So for drink number two, we are going to make a classic murder teeny. It is a gin martini. We want to chill these glasses. Okay. And I'll let you use your preferred method. Sure. And this drink Mistake. is essentially Mistake. all gin. Oh. Ricky, I got, I got to tell you, I got really into martinis over the course of the pandemic, and I'm thrilled. I was about to say, can we cut to the replay of Shane reacting to a martini being the drink of choice? Because I think we saw a slight glimpse of martini midday right there. Do you have a preference of how you like yours? Gin. Gin? Do you like it dirty with olive juice at all? I like three olives. Yeah, do you like it dirty? If you got them to spare, I like it just a little bit dirty. A dirty. splash. Ryan, do you want yours dirty? You know what Do you I know want. what it means? Oh. Do, you, do you know what the dirtiness is? I have no idea what that means, that's but I want it dirty. That's olive juice. I would like it clean. <laughs> clean? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to have it Madej style. You know what? Give me, give me martini Madej. For this drink, Stephen, it is essentially chilled gin sure. with a little bit of olive juice. We're gonna wanna coat the glass with a little bit of dry vermouth. I also have an atomizer here if you what want to use. What is an atomizer? Use. This looks like a what weed the pen. Fuck? Is what that shit, man? Is those pim particles? Okay. Wait, there's alcohol in there? This is a dry vermouth that we're gonna coat the glass with. Murdertini, okay. First thing we gotta do is uh, the gin, the gin, right? The yeah. gin, okay. It's mostly gin. The gin, so you take the gin. How much gin? Um, doesn't matter. Oh no. No, <gasps> don't. Okay, what's Three next? Three shots of gin? We're gonna add just a splash of olive juice per Shane's request. Splash. Careful. All right. You know, you know he's gonna make it dirty. He could only this do it dirty. It looks like shit already. You've just poured gin into a glass. I don't like want to drink it. Sorry. Respect the art okay. of jazz. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's actually yeah. perfect. No, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, that's too much. That's gross. <laughs> now it's gross. Oh, it does. It makes it worse. Why are you doing that with your <laughs> it's no face? Good. That's what you get. All right, multiple olives, right? Three olives. Three. I like three. That's a lot of olives. I like one at the start. One in the middle as a little break, and then one at the end to seal the deal. I like zero olives. All right. Can we do zero, zero olives? We're doing one. All right, what's next? Okay, that's- He asked for uh, three, sir. You did one you olive with two toothpicks? He asked for three, respect the art. No, Ricky it's, will make my martini. Uh, no, that's not true, yes. because- No, for this one, an exception. No, you, I want no, 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 we're rock, paper, no, scissoring. No. You can't do that, that no. is not the I've rules. I've called dibs on this one. You didn't call dibs. And once a season, I get to call dibs. All right, dibs on three, one, two, three, dibs. Dib. No, I already- <laughs> I, said, I said dibs before you. Oh, you son oh. of a bitch. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, we can't turn on each other, all right? You're this right. Are you taking the camera off right now? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, Look you know what? That. For that hug, I'll give you three olives. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you putting, that's a waste of toothpicks. What are you fucking? Okay. That's like six uh, toothpicks. That's one way to make um, Oh, we gotta team. atomize it. Yeah. Aren't you, well, okay. 
And Ricky, just to confirm, generally you atomize before you, you put it in, put it in the glass. The yeah. Probably and you also shake it up. And the, uh, yeah, but this is jazz, and hey, who are we to judge art? <laughs> Oh, we got some vermouth too, right? You want some of this? Oh yeah, the vermouth is in here. Oh, it's already in there. But <laughs> let's just add it. This is your uh, creation? You know what else is good to use? Some moonshine. <laughs> no, ah, no, 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 no. This is strawberry and cream. I know I said I wanted it dirty, but please no cream. This is- You want dirty? It's my middle name. All right, creamy limb. I'll measure the cream, how about that? What? It doesn't matter that you measure- <laughs> Creamy moonshine that you're putting into a You're a wasting, martini. you're destroying. Is it That's gonna, gonna curdle? curdle? That's gonna curdle instantly. Did it already curdle? What else do you want in there? Nothing! Step away! Can I just take a there. look at that? I wanted to see if it curdled already. Oh, oh dude, it's just a it's just a mug of just fucking I am Mud. speechless. I bet you it's amazing. Steven, if it's amazing, take a sip of it. I, I dare you. I bet you it's amazing. Yeah, I, Steven, I want you to actually, if, I you, if you believe in your beverages. I believe in it. I want you to drink that drink. I can't. A no. sip. A sip. You must. I'm sober now. No. Take a sip. Take a of sip. That drink. I can't. Take a sip. Ricky, I can't. mix it up for him. Shane, how I, unprofessional I would it be for a bartender to drink the they drink? They do it literally every time they make the drink. it to their customer. They do the straw thing where they go. I think Shane's hey got something. Hey, I missed the part where that's my problem. I'm out. We're going to chill the glass. And per Shane's request, just a little bit of olive juice. Then I'm going to shake this murder teeny. So what I do is then I empty. Whoa! This just glass? wasted that water. Yeah. It's funny it's called a murder teeny because if I drank Stevens, I'd probably die. Oh baby! Look how he did that with one toothpick for three. That was really crazy. Jazz, ballet, fine dining. <laughs> what did Shane say? Trash. Drinkable. Okay, if somebody said to you, the murder teeny. Which one would look like a murder teeny to you? You know what? Fair point. That is fair. Don't make Stevens at home because you'll probably vomit. You'll oh, die. You'll go to the hospital. Actual warning. I think that's poison. It, it looks like what drinking bad jazz would look like. Alcohol is event. poison. What are we talking about? Yeah, here? I think you're off a vowel there. I don't know about jazz, but. Uh... Oh, I do love a martini, I think. I think one of those might be dangerous to drink. One of them but is a hospital ticket. Steven, why don't you trot on out here and show us what you got for us? I don't know that we can drink that, that honestly. Is, there's <laughs> no way I'm drinking that. Yeah, we can't drink. Oh, you're gonna fight for it, so. Nope. Rock, rock paper, scissors, Absolutely baby. Absolutely not. Go for it. Uh, well, why don't we rock, paper, scissors and see what happens. If I lose, yeah. I'm not drinking that. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Oh, fuck no, it. No, it's rock, paper, scissors, shoot, but I won, so. No, okay. no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Oh! Yes! I'll take the bad one since I know Ryan doesn't this want that. This is the bad that. one. Oh, no, no, no. I'll take that one, the one where I could see olives. Sleep in one. You're welcome. Thank you. Shane? <laughs> yes, as your friend, I was gonna say, you're not drinking that, buddy boy. It's curdled. You could yeah, at least spirit can that. No, There's it's curdled. No way, man. I that's can't a, drink that, That's a one-way ticket to the ICU, baby. All right, hold on. Steven, you know what okay. you did. Okay, okay, You okay. know what you did. You, I know what I did. You're a nasty little boy. I would drink I it. I would do that. I probably would have sipped it if I didn't think it would make me vomit. Hey, if you're uh, new to this season, we've been playing a little too many spirits bingo. Uh, if you want to play along, you can find the bingo cards on patreon.com slash watcher. And don't you get fraudulent ones from your friends. No, no, no. Well, no, we'll track All you down. All these bingo spaces were uh, lovingly provided by our patrons. Uh, I just spilled a drink. Where is that on here? Oh, 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 there it is. How about you? Did you fill yours out? I, I, I didn't like what happened right there, oh. so I, I stopped that. <laughs> I don't like that. Cheers. Cheers, friend. Wait, you need the spear cam. Oh, fuck. Oh. I'll let you go first. Huh? How is it? It's just gin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a big sip and show you how daddy does it. Okay. Show us how daddy does it. Oh, gosh.
delicious. You don't like that one bit? No, I like it. It's so good, dude. <laughs> Maybe if I bite it in all of them. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, okay, so the reason I like three olives is because you have one at the top, you have one in the middle, and you have one to close it down. Now, have an olive, and that thing's gonna be drenched in a little bit of gin. No, eat the whole olive. Don't take a bite out of an olive like a fucking lunatic. Eat it. What is wrong with you? You eat the whole olive. I hate olives. This is sick. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. You just said it was purely gin. You know what? I changed my mind. There, it's not purely gin. There is olive juice in this. It's a little bit dirty. It's not my exact favorite martini, but any martini is a delicious martini. I give it a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna enjoy this olive. That's spoken like martini midday. Oh! Woo, 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 woo! Turned you into a cartoon wolf. That was weird. I'm gonna give that a 7 out of 10 spirits. I'm just not a big martini guy, I guess. If you put a full olive in your mouth and take a sip and then just bite down into that olive, holy fucking shit, it's the greatest thing in the world. I just don't like olives, man. I don't like them. You're an idiot. I just don't like the, the oh, way, God, I don't good. like how it, the experience of when it touches my tongue. You know what? I'm going to make my hair look like Slash now. Hold on. Okay. One second. Exciting. I'm gonna wait, no. Here's my no, impression. Wait, Ryan, Ryan. Do that the next episode. Tease it. Next episode, I'm going to give you my impression of famed guitarist slash and to keep you on the line on the hook in episode four we will bite a lemon like it's an apple and then we're gonna beat the shit out of well, each other i didn't agree to that part yet but we'll, we'll, we'll we're work on it we'll like work it. on it we still have a lemon right all these stories were submitted by you what voice do you want sexy Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. oh. <laughs> I said sexy, you sort of went straight for sex. <laughs> I don't know the difference. Ugh. Okay, how about this? I'll tone it down a little bit. Oh, okay, we got it. Sam isn't cool on Tumblr. When I was little, I remember my sister's doll talking to me. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Already one sentence in? I don't like it. Yeah, I guess I'm uh, assuming that the doll was saying something very specific to her, like, I like your red bow. <laughs> I like gushers. And it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> there were these Dora dolls that you could program to say your name in the mid 2000s. She whispered, let's go in the middle of the night to me. What? <laughs> That's no good. Do you think the name was good or was it like, let's go, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, that's true, because I guess the let's go would be out of loop, right? I want some milk, Shane. <laughs> she whispered, let's go in the middle of the night to me. And I literally was so scared. That's true. So, are you scared? Does it say that? No. Oh, fuck. But the thing is, I don't know if it's real or not. Yeah. Ooh, I was a chronic liar as a child. <laughs> Wait, they're trapped in a web of their own deceit? Yeah, this person's a, a pathological liar, I guess. Let's start that over. Ooh, I was a chronic liar as a child. Why are you starting? And now I don't know what's real and what's a lie. Wait, hold on, let me start that sentence again. Okay. Ooh, I was like. Stop. <laughs> You're just restarting it because you want to do the ooh. I don't Is wanna... ooh on the card? No, okay, okay, I'll do it again. I won't do the ooh. Ah, I was a chronic liar as a child. And now I don't know what's real and what was a lie that I gaslit myself into believing. I know it's boring, but I think the true horror in this story is false memories that we implant into our own psyche. Oh, this is like a Mandela effect. Well, I like that because it's like sort of, it has a moral there at the end, or not maybe less of a moral and more of a, bl a cracked sort of black mirror message. I don't like that it started with the hardest punch and then never really measured up to that. I think, no, I, and, and counterpoint, I think, listen to me, hey, I think the ending is a harder punch than you're giving it credit for if you really think about it. No, don't do that to yourself, you'll never come back. Right! Right! No, I disagree with you. Do you? I think they tried to go Wes Craven and hit them really hard in the beginning. They never really able to. They never measured. Anyway, up. no, no, why about that? They started Wes Craven. They ended up Philip K. Motherfucking Dick. What? <laughs> you know, really? 
<laughs> really challenging, really challenging the reader. He was, a, he, was a, he, was, he was a very renowned sci-fi writer. <laughs> Do Android dream of electric sheep, etc. <laughs> they know. Dig. Six out of ten. Six, Six out of ten. I'm going to give that one a five out of ten. Okay, we're pretty close on that. Yeah, I think yeah, we're I think close. this scans, because I liked it a little bit more than you. I do appreciate you sending that story in We do me. appreciate Sammy's you sending the cool stories in. Uh, and even if we give them a low rating, that doesn't mean... Oh, we appreciate all stories. Next story! Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can get into the fire. You can't. It's so Fuck! Oh, and there's a, that there's a is group. a bingo square. <laughs> it's not. We got a bingo square, says Steven. We're not. We right. Ryan aren't Wait a second. Ryan Wait a second. How did they know I was going to do that? How did they know I was going to do that? Ryan. How did you know I was going to do that? Ryan fails to. Oh, God, I'm so close. Patreon.com slash watcher. How did you know I was going to do that? Fucking start talking I'm or so I'm going to get ugly. I'm so close to a bingo. They have predictions of everything we're going to do on this show, on this card. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any free will? It's like Dune. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. You have to keep living and reading your stories. You're dropping all your cards. It's very windy. I would advise you to pick them up. <laughs> hey down there. It's me, the fire. Did you miss me? I know I missed me. But don't worry. I'm here now because this video is sponsored by Lomi. Lomi is the hottest new kitchen appliance from Pila. The company that's already put environmentally friendly products in the hands of more than a million customers. Lomi is the perfect appliance for people who'd hate taking out the trash, are too exhausted to clean up, or just think garbage smells gross like me. The only thing I want to smell is the sweet, sweet aroma of logs burning inside me. With a simple push of a button, Lomi turns your food and organic waste into nutrient-rich dirt, which you can use for your gardens or household plants. Lomi uses heat, abrasion, and oxygen in order to break down all Lomi-approved materials. It's just like me, except Lomi is also good for the environment instead of just super hot. Lomi is climate neutral and can reduce your garbage footprint by more than 50%. As much as I usually love watching everything get consumed by a warm, fiery abyss, <laughs> the Earth is not one of them. Which is why everyone should head to the link below to claim your Lomi today. Lomi has been sold out for more than 12 months, but for the first time ever, you can buy Lomi without the weight. Thanks again to Lomi for sponsoring this episode. And now, back to the show. Our next story is from Fridge Rajan on Instagram. When I was in elementary school, I was in the bathroom with my friend. Nice. I used to do that all the time. Uh, this had to be like second or third grade. One of them was like, watch how far back I can go. Yeah, the, the how far can you pee back from the urinal <laughs> game. Everyone has done that. We were looking in the mirror, and that's when my friend screams and runs out of the bathroom. Oh shit, did he see Bloody Mary? I mean, can you imagine? Let's say you and I are uh, in elementary school together. We're, so you're the same size? Well, I'm the same size. We're staring in the mirror, and I go, ah! and leave. Jesus Christ. And run. I mean, I, if you're running, I'm going to run, yeah. even though I don't know what you saw. Jesus like that, Christ, course, you know? man. I had no idea what was happening, but I screamed and ran out with her. Ah! Jesus sort of like Christ, that. man. You're going to destroy. Sorry. The teachers asked what happened outside, and she said, I saw a white, blurry figure. And I was like, yeah, me too. I saw it. <laughs> but I totally lied. <laughs> so like every other show other than... Ghost Files. She thought it was her dead brother, and I was like, yup, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta give people the closure, you know? I guess. That's a very supportive friend. I think I legitimately give that one a 10. A 10 for that I think one? That's, well, yes. Because I like the aloofness of the narrator, and I, in, what, hey, no, 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 no. You can't look at me and, 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 and sit over there cringing at my rating. I can rate it whatever the fuck I want to, because I'm following my heart. 
Boston? Why'd you have a Boston accent? You gotta follow your heart when you rate it. Oh, now I went Irish. Irish. Follow your Ireland. heart. You gotta follow. Irish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck, man. Chill you gotta out. listen to your soul. My soul tells me that's a seven. That's lower than I thought. I thought you'd give that a nine. Well, I liked that one. Thank you, Bridge Rajan. Next story, Ryan. Why do we go? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. That's the Ghost Files phone. Spoiler. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that is a spoiler. That's a little insight, a little preview. This comes from Scoop Bean. Scoop Bean? Scoop Bean. Scoot Bean. Tumblr, what voice am I doing here? Sort of like a droopy dog, southern gentleman, marshal, sheriff. My theater program insisted our auditorium. Volume, volume. My theater program insisted our auditorium was haunted. Yeah. Our ghost was always pretty harmless and just tossed the occasional prop around. My senior year, though, we did a show, Bury the Dead. A show about, I don't know what that is, the, the theater kids chime off in the comments. I don't know what that is. Bury the is dead. that some is sort that of like theater? newsies shit? Some newsies shit, but they're all fucking dead. Extra, extra, read all about it. And it would be Our sick. Ass is grass. Like the fucking like people from props just wheel out caskets on stage and then just the lights turn on and it's just three hours. <laughs> of, <laughs> just the of caskets office. standing there. <laughs> and people coming on stage just looking at them going, Have you heard the news today? <laughs> Bury the Dead, about unrested souls coming back from the grave. And it really agitated her. She ended up slashing a few actors' backs during opening night. Slashing their backs? Oh shit, this is like another classic ghost scratching story. Sure. And we've asked so many ghosts to, to scratch us. They don't do it. And they don't do us. They don't do it. They don't they do, do they us. Don't, they don't do it. They don't do us. I've asked a ghost to do me so many times and they don't do me. <laughs> Later. Oh, one of the other teachers, a hobby ghost hunter, did some recordings, and you could clearly hear her say, "There's that damn jeep." Our theater teacher drove a jeep. There's that damn jeep. What I guess it's haunted. Care? It's haunted by a, a, an old ghost teacher. I've never heard a ghost be like, "Hark, a Mazda Miata." <laughs> well, why do ghosts care just, about cars? It's, it's a weird thing for a ghost a teacher to haunt the place they used to teach. Oh, like it's supposed finish, to be a teacher? I think that's what I got from the story. There's like you do that a damn jeep. You do a performance. I have notes. Yeah, I'm not taking notes from a dead person. Absolutely not. You're there's a dead. reason. There's a reason you're not on this earth anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> what yeah. I just did was perfect. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes I got to be a tough critic, folks. I give that one a four. I'm gonna have to give that one a four as well. I'll give that one a four. We got four buds. Four. You know what? I'm gonna throw this card let's, in in Lauren's general direction. Let's let's give the four handshake. Time for a story from our magical telephone. Ring, 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 ring. ring, ring. ring. It's ring. Steven phone. Yeah, I don't think you can sing that song. I can sing that song. New songs of bingo. I thought that was some sort of mantra of yours. New songs of bingo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new, new. Wait, Steven, get out of here! I didn't pick up the phone yet. We have to c keep up the illusion that the phone actually calls you. New song is created. New song is created. I circled it. It's a good song. Is it Shaq? Hello. This time it actually is Shaq. Oh, no, we we <laughs> just, we, okay. It's fucking Steven it's again, Steven dude. Again. God Sorry. damn it. Sorry. Jesus. Thank you, Steven. He sort of Oh yes. Yes. He, like he remembered. Don't fart in my okay. face. Jesus Christ. Well, you got it. Thank you, Steven. Stop. All right. You, get the fuck away from me. Dude. This is from My Mum Was a Placenta. I guess mom, mums are placentas. They they make the placenta for they you. Do. They do. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know what the, the 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 purpose of it is. Like, is it the placenta? It's food for baby. Really? Baby, he munch on that placenta. He's like, more placenta, please. Yeah. <laughs> and then when it comes out, sometimes you can fry it up like a burger and eat it. Some and people he comes do that. out and goes too much placenta. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I really overdid myself on yeah. placenta. I once woke up in the middle of the night and saw the spirit of myself dancing sensually next to my bed. <laughs> it's very funny to imagine. 
<laughs> if you woke up, that's the only way that you would ever see a spirit and not be immediately freaked out. <laughs> if you just saw like your force ghost, like <laughs> just rubbing his like nipples. twerking next to your bed. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of hot. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like, continue. <laughs> and go on. <laughs> it looks like I don't need a little. Don't mind me. <laughs> or do mind me. <laughs> Just straight up swinging her hips and looking sexy. Nice. She stayed there until I managed to wake up my boyfriend so he could turn on the lights. That's a 10. And, and that's, that's too many spirits! I did like that a lot because it did introduce something I never thought about, seeing your own ghost. Do you think you'd get along with yourself? Oh, big time. We'd throw down. <laughs> yeah, I love me. I was talking to Katie LeBlanc about this, head of development at Watcher. Yeah. And I said, what do you think would happen if there was a company full of Ryans? And she said, only one would walk out and the rest would be dead. <laughs> and I, I agree with that. <laughs> If it was a company full of chains, obviously we would never get anything done. <laughs> <laughs> and also... They'd be like, what'd you think of Batman? I know, I loved it. Oh, me too. Dude, yeah, dude. <laughs> Robin Pattinson, the best Batman. <laughs> a company full of Stephen Limbs? Silence. No, I think the company full of Stephen Limbs the most successful company in the world. <laughs> exactly. Silence. All you hear is just efficiency. The clicking of the cogs. The, the clicking of keyboard keys. Money being funneled in at such a rate. Ryan... There can only be one! Well, that does it for this episode of... Oh, I, I'm so wow, <laughs> dude, take it I down, dude. Folks. Take it down. That does it for this episode of Two Many Spirits. Go. Tune in next week for the third installment Well, of I'll turn four. into Slash. And in episode four, obviously, we'll bite into a lemon like it's an apple. That's right, and beat the shit out of each other. Well, I didn't agree to that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll see you next week, everybody. Woo! -woo!